Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Brugley channel. I'm your host, Brugley, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a backrooms level that makes level run for your life look short and pretty easy. This level is level exclamation mark dash exclamation mark or hotel chase, and it's a literally insane sub level of the original level exclamation mark. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's hop right into the explanation, shall we? So this level is classified as a class variable difficulty, which means that its safety and stableness changes depending on where you go inside the level. Now, according to the fandom, this level is actually a sub-level of the original Level Run for Your Life, which I've done a video on, if you are interested in that. And if you haven't heard of that, it's a terribly scary level in and of itself, where you spawn in and you have to run instantly away from a huge horde of entities. And at first glance, the first part of this sub-level looks like the normal level. It's a long hallway that's basked in a red lighting, and this entire part is pretty similar to the main level in that there's an entity horror chasing you and your sanity is dropping. But where it changes is that every so often there are doors on the left or right side of the hallway that can open up to different levels, but the levels that they open up to are typically dangerous levels, not safe levels, so they're dangerous. And some of them even lead back to the main part, which is level exclamation mark. So unless you want to go back to the main level and do this entire running thing again, it's not recommended to try any of these exits. So I'm sure you're asking yourself, you know, what does this sublevel do that sets it apart from the main level? Well, the main thing is there are extra steps and extra dangerous things that can happen to you here. There are random liquid pain puddles that you can step in, and there are some carpeted sections of the hallways that have poisonous carpet fluid inside of them. And if you lose your shoes or you walk through these areas with your bare feet or socks on, uh, that might be it for you. Because if your feet touch liquid pain or this carpet fluid, then the pain will be worse than unaliving itself. <laughs> so... That just adds on to the difficulty on top of the entity horde chasing you. There is one pretty cool thing about this level though, and is that if you run for a really, really long time, like 10 plus miles on this level, then you might find a staircase that goes up. And if you go up that staircase, you might get to the promised land, which is a thought to be exit of the back rooms itself, but it's not confirmed if it is. Some people are really thinking that it is, and I've done a video explaining all of that, so go check that out if you haven't. But if you find this staircase, I would recommend 10 out of 10 go into that staircase just to find the exit. I, it's worth it to me to try it. As you know, the main level exclamation mark isn't too long, only a few miles, but this sub-level is way longer and more confusing to run through. The good news is, is that there's these anomalous blue hallways scattered randomly throughout the level that can be randomly accessed to people now these don't appear to everybody and it's really unknown why they even exist but they're pretty safe and they're a good spot to take a break from running for a second and like I said these hallways are blue and that's how you'll know that you ran into a safe spot so a basic outline you can use is that a blue hall has a chance to appear every four and a half miles of running and these blue hallways are also exits of the level because there's staircases in those that go down. And if you walk to the bottom of those staircases, then you'll be sent to a random level. There are also entities here that are unlike any entities in the back rooms. So that massive entity horde behind you that's going to be chasing you is full of the regular entities like death moths and smilers and hounds and that kind of stuff. But there are also extra entities in this sub-level. And what they do is that their only goal is to cause your sanity to drop. Like that is their entire reason for existing is to make your sanity less. So they're in that giant horde of entities, and you can't really get a good look at them because they're just blended in with the entire thing, but you can definitely feel the effects of losing your mind. And if you somehow get sent to this level after the previous run for your life level, then you'll be extra susceptible and more likely to go insane from these entities. But if you couple that liquid pain puddle stuff and the poisonous carpet juice along with this entity horde full of creatures that make your sanity go down, uh, that makes this level even more terrifying than the main level. It's also longer, so you have to run for further. To enter this sub-level, well, there's a 50% chance that you can get stuck here from being in level 2, 
Or you can get here by choosing an unlocked door in the hallway of level exclamation mark, which would absolutely suck because imagine you're already running for your life and you find a door that can open finally, only for it to lead you to a longer red hallway in this level where you also have to run for your life. That'd be terrible. And you can exit the level from one of those blue hallways I talked about, or you can chance opening one of the doors to run past, but as I said earlier, you never know where that's going to lead you. It might be dangerous or it might lead you back to level exclamation mark. You can also run to the quote unquote end of the level to find that staircase that goes upwards to be taken to the promised land. But that would require running for miles and miles and honestly, I, I don't think I could do that. So I would just try a door or try to find a blue hallway. I thought this level was pretty cool and it, I thought it blended pretty well with the famous level exclamation mark. It's just like it, but it's more dangerous and it's longer. And I like how there are a couple of exits that actually lead back to the main level because you don't really find that oftentimes with sub levels that are written in the back room. So I like how that stays that way. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you really did enjoy it. Make sure to let me know what levels you want me to go over in the comments below. I've got so many figured out. I just want to hear what you guys want. And thank you all so much for the support. You guys seem to love the videos. I just really, really appreciate it. Make sure to sub to the channel if you don't mind. It's free and I'm aiming for 500,000 subscribers because when I get there, I can buy the full Backrooms themed outfit and make videos in it. So that's going to be pretty fire. If you want to see me in a Backrooms outfit, Help me get to 500k subs. Also, check out my SCP and Cryptids channel called Spoogly. I'm uploading awesome things over there all the time. The videos are chill, laid back, readings of SCPs and cryptid encounters and just weird, creepy stuff that happens in the real world. If you like that, then you're going to love Spoogly. Go check it out. The Broogly channel is literally at 330,000 subscribers. I cannot thank you all enough for the support you've given me. I Thank you so much, and I have so much planned for this channel, and thank you all so much for watching the videos. I'm so excited to see where we continue to grow to on here, on Toogly, on Spoogly. There's so much stuff is planned, and I really hope you guys are excited for it all. This winter is going to be awesome. Broogmas is going to be awesome. Hope you guys are ready for that. Also, hope you're enjoying your summer. Hope it's fantastic for you. But uh, yeah, I can't wait for winter because that's my favorite time of year. But anyways, I appreciate you all. Thank you for everything. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Also, I just uploaded a reaction or analysis of the new Kane Pixels video over on my second channel, Toogly. The video turned out pretty well and I actually really enjoyed the video. Uh, so if you want to go see what I thought about it, check the link below. All right, peace.